What's up guys, Fried Egg here, and we are about to showcase the Orcs Must Die 2 Steam Workshop. So this was added last week, I think on, let's say Wednesday it went live, so almost a week, and very excited about this. Uh, this is something we've been asking for in the community for, mm, since like right when Orcs Must Die 1 came out. <laughs> um, you know, just the ability to change and modify things. And I'm trying to get rid of this window tab taskbar. Okay. So, yeah, this is something we've been asking for for a long, long time. And Robot answered, answered us with uh, some... This is basically free DLC that's going to keep giving to the com community over and over again since it's uh, player-generated. So let's first show you guys how to access it. So you're going to... When you open up Steam, you'll automatically download it. It's not very big. And to access the, work, the uh, workshop, you're going to go up here to Library. You're going to go to Tools. And you're going to go here to the Orcs Must Die 2 Workshop tool. And you can just click Play. And it's going to open up. Now, this is, this is something that, that I'm going to address further. I don't know how to make these. You have to edit some XML files and some other stuff, and this is the sort of thing that I'm terrible at. Um, I know Nanani is working on hopefully some tutorials and some guides on uh, you know, how to actually do it, but I'll show you what it looks like. Oh, my, what am I doing? You have to go here to help, excuse me. So you have three things you can, um, you can change. And I think this is most of the stuff in the game, like enemies and weapons and traps. And you can change everything about them. So you can see there's a whole lot of stuff. So let's look at the, uh, we can look at the stone staff, for example. So I'm going to double click it. I, I got this, I got this program here that was supposed to help me um, be able to actually do this stuff, but mm, not so much. So if you have any idea about XML and coding, um, maybe the, some of this will make sense to you. I don't. I have no clue. Um, I really don't see myself ever becoming good at this, but I'll be more than happy to try other people's mods, make videos showcasing them, and sharing them with the community that way, uh, even though I won't be actually making them myself. But yeah, so here's what one of the XML files look like. Um, if you're like me, this looks like kind of gibberish, but a lot of people actually understand what this does, what, what all this means, and they have been making them like crazy. There's already like seven pages of, of uh, mods uh, in the workshop. So with that being said, uh, since this is kind of neither here nor there, um, <laughs> this is the workshop. This is where it's all about. But I mean, what, what I'm interested in is the actual mods. So let's close that down and go take a look. We're going to go back to our library, all games. And when we open up Orcs Must Die, you'll notice something different happens. So we're going to go to play. Oh, before we do that, well, we could open it up just so you guys see. Uh, you now have this. You have the o OMD2 mod launcher. So it gives you the option to launch with mods or launch classic mode. And it checks your cloud list, of which this is your cloud list. And it, it syncs up to what you have subscribed to. So these are all the ones I subscribe to. And now we're going to go. I'm going to show you the uh, workshop uh, menu so you guys can see that and how that looks and how you go about subscribing to this stuff. So... Um, to get to the, access the workshop, you can just click right here, Browse Workshop from the Steam Library page. Let's click Browse the Workshop. And they have this nice little workshop page set up. So let's see how many pages there are now of mods. We have six pages of mods so far, with, the, with this last one being Phoenix. <laughs> like a Phoenix crossbow. It looks like a fire crossbow. Um, let's see what it does. It has the same stats like the normal crossbow. Okay. Okay, I don't really understand that, but let's keep looking at some mods. <laughs> All right. So our good friend Nanania has pretty much monopolized the front page. As you can see, her, uh, her Skull Ninja face all over the place. We've got juice bags making a bunch of entries with some mods. And yeah, so to... Get a mod, let's say her face melter blunderbuss mod. I'm already subscribed to it, but you click it, and then there's going to be a subscribe button right here. 
gives me the option to unsubscribe to it, which I'm not going to do since Nanani is my dear friend and her mods are amazing. I'm not going to do that. I'm actually going to make sure I favorite it if I didn't already do that. Great thumbs up. That's right. And yeah, that's how you subscribe to an individual mod. So if you want to browse them like that, or if like you say you, you try out Nanania's Face Melter Blunderbuss um, mod, you could go ahead and do this. You can click on... Click on where is she at? Where do we go here? Uh, excuse me. Excuse me. You have to go to... Here, Nanania's Workshop. See this right here? Go to Nanania's Workshop. And if we like what she's doing... We can go to collections. Now this, I believe this requires her to, she has to keep updating this collection. Like every time she makes a mod, she has to add it to the collection. But when we click her collection, we click it. And this is going to give us the, the, the option to subscribe to all. We can subscribe to all of her mods. I've already done that. So there you go. Now I've subscribed to all her mods again. It doesn't, that doesn't change anything for me, but... So if someone is smart enough to start a collection like that, you can easily subscribe to all their stuff. But back to the workshop, and, and now I'm, this is the best way to navigate around is up here. So just the individual uh, individual mods, I subscribe to pretty much everything on this front page. Like there's some there's some cool stuff here. There's some stuff that I don't really agree with, like a grinder for free. Like that's not really anything that I. It's cool, but it's not anything I really ever want to take. I don't mind spending money on traps. Um, let's check out the second page here. Um, so this is one I, I liked. I went ahead and subscribed to this because this is pretty much awesome. I'm, I'm really looking forward to see what kind of skins are added in the future. But someone made a Princess Leia skin for the Sorceress that's pretty damn sexy. Yeah, yeah. User the Red. The Red. He, made a, he did a really good job. He's got some good comments and everything. But yeah, his, uh, his sorceress, he looks, he looks dead sexy. So, actually, now that we... Let me see if he's made anything else. We can go navigate some more of the workshop. Get down to it. Um, push trap, heavy upgrade. That's... Hey, let's see what it does. So, a special upgrade that allows the push trap to push heavy enemies. Eh, why not? Let's add that to the old subscription. So... All right, let's then uh, let's go back to the workshop. So I got a bunch of stuff I'm subscribed to. Now you're now you're probably asking me, all right, now how do these how do these work in the game? So here's what we're gonna do. We're going to launch the game, and I'll show you guys how it works. So we're going to click back on here, and we have all of our. I'm gonna actually close this and relaunch the game because I want to make sure it updated with the uh, the cloud. So. Back to the library, all games, play. All right, so here's our mods. And I'm going to, I'm pretty much going to bring everything you see here. I'm not exactly sure how the, how if, if mods, you know, stomp on top of one another. I'm not sure how that works yet. But we might find out right now. So we're going to launch with mods. And I'm going to do my best to bring most of Nanania's stuff. Actually, let me do this. I'm going to see if I can open up another Steam window so I make sure I bring her stuff. Uh, where is her Nanania's workshop? Here's her workshop. She's already got, she's got two pages worth of mods already. So I'm going to move this over here, my other window. I launch. OMD mods. I'm gonna try to fill my fill my spell bar with <laughs> loud baby. Alright. Try to fill my bar with not any mods. First thing I wanna do is uh I'm gonna go back to characters. I wanna pick my Friday get select her because I wanna see Slave Leia Sorceress. See if that we can make that happen. So vanity. Uh there it is, Slave Leia. Woo! Purchase. Well worth 50 skulls. I like that. Uh, apparently, I don't have... Okay. So, I now have Slave Leia. It's equipped. Pretty good. 
And we're going to go to... Go to the edge. We bring all of Nana's stuff, okay? So, I should have... I think I have everything bought with her. Make sure. Buy the rest of these traps. Purchase. Just so I don't miss anything. <laughs> Crossbow, blade staff, purchase. They're with me, guys. And <laughs> my uh, my my sorceress does not have everything. A war mage. I got my own freaking skin. Of course, I play the war mage. Get some traps you don't have here. But make sure I'm able to get all of her traps. Ah, look at that. Ogres instead of paladins. I like that. What do you give them? Ogres have more health. Not, oh, <laughs> I like this one. Paladins fires, ogres hired. And stun. I might even bring those with me. I forget who, I forget who made that, that mod. I'll have to, uh, that'll be for another video to give him his props. Dude, dude, dude. Got all the stuff. All the things. He's got the tar, thanks to Nanania. Look at this. Who persists? Mini tenderizer. Mini. I like that. <laughs> I'm loving this. Alright, so let me see. We've not made something called coinicades. Here it is, yeah. <laughs> Block the enemies for profit. Brilliant. Brilliant! Um, do we have any trinkets here? Surfer trinket? I'm just gonna buy everything. Friends trinket. Leave them! No one made any trinkets, huh? Maybe they did. I'm gonna pull down. Any trinkets? Nope. No trinkets. So... But all that, but all that. Okay. We're good. Uh, let's roll. Roll on to... Let's just do something easy. We're going to do the edge. All right? And we're going to bring as much of Nana's stuff as we can. So... Do it! Do it. Is it you? You made the wand do fear. That's pretty cool. Fear wand. All right, so let's, um, she had told me about that. So she did that to the wand. We're not going to bring that. We're not going to bring that. No, no, no. Let's start. We'll take the coinicade. We will take the coinicade. So let's, looking at Nana's, looking at Nana's traps that she's made, we're going to pick out her stuff. Because we're showcasing of hers. Um, all right, so. Let's do, I want to do the Bloody Hailstorm. This is her upgraded stone staff. All right, I want to do, can't do the, the face melter blunderbuss because I don't have that. Um, I wish I had this book organized, I do not. Take her blade staff. She has, I want to see these Hawkeye archers. I definitely want to see the sapper, sapper shooting ballistas. Where's the ballista? I've, I haven't really been a fan of the ballista in Orcs Must Die 2, but if it shoots uh, sappers, I'm all for that. And I'm bringing these, I'm bringing these Ogre Guardians, because why not? I want Ogre Guardians. We're also going to bring um, the tar for the Sorceress, because that's just crazy. To the fact that she has tar, it's so awesome. Um... We can bring some of her, the mini tenderizer. <laughs> I like that. All right, and uh, let me see. This is something, I don't know if, I think Juice Bags might have made this. He made the crossbow do, um, shoot polymorph for the right click instead of stun. 
And I think we're also we're playing some sort of a mod. I think this might be Juice Bags' upgraded edge. It has all these enemies. And they're, they're also going to be small, if I remember right. So it's going to look a little different, a little crazy. But we're having fun with it. Okay. So let's get up. Uh, let me see. We'll put one of them there. Wow, that's going to eat up a lot of money. All right, let me see. I'm only going to put one of those for now. Because uh, I want to put up... Let me see. Actually, we'll do this. We're going to only go put up two of those. We only, we only need two. You know that. So we're going to do... We'll have that up. Okay, I want to do... Perfect. Do one of these. The and I want to do... I want to do an ogre. What this supposed to be an armored ogre? Oh, it's a fire ogre. Maybe maybe it's random. Which, what kind of ogre are you going to get? All right. So... This is Nana's wand with the right click that fears. We should have mini minis. Look at them. Oh, guys, shooting sappers. That's so awesome. Run away. We'll fear you. The mini works are kind of crazy. I forget who made that mod, but it's kind of neat. All right, let's try her stone stab. Wow, look at that. Super fast, doesn't make as much racket as it used to. Put some, wow. That's pretty cool. Freezes them. Blow up, aww, my ogre. I lost an ogre. Right, let's put up some of these, um, some of these guys, some of the Hawkeye. Archers, give me an erection, she says. Okay, well, let's try out the blade staff. Proof blade staff. Kind of doesn't really. Swings are kind of funny. Definitely feels a little better. Wow, that, the, the right click on the blade staff is a lot more forceful. Entering the mines! Oh, they got me. It's okay. Oh no! Let's here. Let's try out the poly crossbow. This is awesome. Oh, out of mana. Get that mini ogre. So you can just see this is madness, and this is just the beginning. The mini orcs can get bugged out. Like that when they die, it's kind of how much you can do about that. It just happens. Um, I could res him. All right, we need to put up. Uh, we'll do a little weird. <laughs> oh, I'm trying to charge up my right click. That don't work. Ah! Go ballista, go. Polymorph him. Into a coin. Gotta love that. Polymorph crossbow. Run away! Little hunters are coming. Oh no, they got me again. <laughs> it's madness. I don't care if they get away. Let them escape. What do we got here? Oh, my phone's ringing. Stop ringing, phone. Ow. Sorry about that. Sorry about the phone call there. Polymorph. Okay, I got my got my got my buddies back. Perfect. Move this. Coiny canes. I wonder if that coin is from the coiny cade. Probably is. All right, let's get some more mortis. And another one of these. We get a regular ogre that time. Let me see. Can I sell him? Oh, we got an armored. Okay, so you can just keep kind of... Keep selling him and putting him down and... We get money bags ogre. <laughs> cool. Alright, so... Mm, I can't put that up. Alright, let's put more tar. More tar. 
So, oh no! Put on our rapid fire stone staff. We don't gotta spam, we just hold it down. <laughs> they have the, uh, the, the paladin shield. Go get them, ogres. Shooting those sappers. Oh, this is craziness. This is madness. I don't really see anything going on with these ogres. Freeze everything. Oh, sappers are coming again! Oh no! So this is this is like I said, guys. This is like just this is scraping the surface of what's going to be possible with uh with this workshop. This has been out for six days, and we already have craziness like shooting sappers out of ballistas and ogres instead of paladins. And look how deadly accurate accurate these Hawkeye archers are. Look at that. They're just the kobolds are so tiny. They're so small. Supposed to see them. You got left over here. Yeah, I hear I hear a little tiny orc. I can't see him though. We win. Oh, I just noticed though I didn't have my Leia skin on, even though I I thought I equipped it. That was messed up. So Yeah guys, this is the madness that is the Orcs Must Die 2 workshop. It's, it's, it's freaking awesome. So let's go back out. Um yeah, we'll go back out. Exit. And yeah, guys, this is pretty much the coolest thing ever. I hope you guys got a little bit of something out of that video. I like I like I said, I'm going to be adding whatever I can to help out because I'm probably not gonna make any any actual mods myself because I'm I suck at coding. But maybe after Nana makes a tutorial uh, or a guide on how to do it, maybe I'll be able to make it after that. But for now, I'm just going to be showcasing other people's, other people's guides and, uh, you know, you know, basically talking their guides up and linking, give you guys links to go and get their, get their mods. So, yeah. Uh, also on a quick note, we will be, I'm going to have it actually annotated in, in the, in the video and everything. We're going to be live streaming this tonight, uh, on my Twitch. Uh, we're going to be live streaming with Justin Portoff, the uh, Warbot Entertainment Community Manager, and Nanania is going to be there, and also Juice Bags. That's going to be at 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. So check your local listings and whatever your local time is and come hang out. So, But for now, uh, please go and check out the Steam Workshop and stay tuned to Nanania's channel for hopefully that, that guide that's coming soon that's going to teach us all how to do it. And hopefully you guys have fun with this so we can all have fun with it. And uh, I will talk to you guys soon.